Hola, hola, buenas tardes. Aquí estoy, María, y su casa rodante. Todavía no encuentro un, un nombre mejor que ponerle, ¿verdad? Pero um, este video lo voy a hacer en inglés porque uh, tengo una amiga, una suscriptora que quiere saber cómo hacer el chile colorado. Y yo sé que muchas de nosotros, no todas, sabemos hacer chile colorado, pero... Cada quien tiene su modo de hacerlo. Y esta amiga me pidió que quería que lo hiciera en inglés porque ella quiere aprender cómo hacerlo para poder hacer enchiladas. Ella vive en Kentucky. So, I'm gonna do this video in English just because a friend of mine that, that subscribed to my channel. Thank you to everyone that been subscribing to my channel and they're, um, they're supporting me. Uh, I love my one million followers, <laughs> but um, I have to make videos or, or else my son is going to get on my butt. So this is for my friend that wants to know how to make the sauce or the chile or the colorado chile or the red chile for to make enchiladas. Okay. I already made some and I have some because I have used it before and it's the same chile I use for the Rio Pozole, Rachel Ray. So I'm gonna show you and, and, and how to make it that way. And I'm gonna put portions because uh, she was explaining to me, well, a lot of us work with portions and uh, it's understandable. Not everybody makes, uh, cooks the same. So I'm gonna start because I don't want this video to be too long and then they get boring and they get tired. And uh, me, myself, I don't like to watch videos that are 40, 45 minutes long. So this is how we're gonna start. And this is for my friend Vicky. Okay, Vicky, this is how you're gonna do. You're gonna grab some of these chiles, okay? This is called Chile Colorado. You're gonna find it almost everywhere. Okay, I know in Kentucky you're going to find it because when I went to visit you and I made you my special pozole, the real pozole, you know, we went and bought this. Remember, you can buy it in bags, you can buy it in however you want to. But remember, there's a very different kind of chiles, okay? So we got these chiles, okay? Okay, it's, it's chile colorado, but then we have these chiles, Okay, nosotros, us, we call that chile ancho or chile wide chile. And then we have what we call um, the, the little bitty chile. And this is called um, typical como el, like the serrano, but it's dry. So it becomes, it's a little bit more spicier. And then we got the chile piquín, which is this one. It's little bitty, little bitty things like this. And let me show you real good. So it's like this, okay? Little bitty chile. So what I do, what I do, I use about, about three, six, nine, ten, about 15 of these chiles, okay? And I put them in a pot, in a big pot, and I'll show you. In a pot like this. I put them in here with water about that much, okay? And then if I wanted to make it a little bit spicier, which the one I made for my pozole, I make it a special spicy, I throw about seven of these, okay? If you don't want it to be too hot, then you put about three, just to give it a different flavor. Uh, me, it gives my chili a different flavor and I like it. I like the flavor of this. Now, because I want that point of, oh, this is good and it's a spicy, but it's a good spicy, uh, a, a spicy that you can still eat, that is not gonna be so horrible that you cannot even eat. Then I put a bunch of this ones and I wanna say a bunch, probably, about this much or sometimes even more. So it's about seven, I'll put about 15. And that's depending if you're making 15 chiles of this, okay? I throw them all in the pot with these ones. Then I put about three garlics, okay? About three garlics, I throw them in there. I put half of this onion in there and I'm gonna boil it. I'm gonna put it to boil and it doesn't take long before this chili has become very soft and they're ready. So I say, I usually will boil them for about five minutes. You know, when they're juicy and they're very loose 
that means they're ready. And you're gonna have, you're not gonna put no salt, no pepper, none of that. That's all you're gonna put in here, okay? So, when they're ready and they are, you already boiled them all together and your onion is soft, you're gonna grab your blender, okay? I have my Nutrit Bullet, I love it. My son swears he's gonna buy me a Vitamix. They're too expensive, but this is what I have. I love it. And I use this, okay? So I start throwing the chiles there, everything that you got from here. I throw them in there and I throw water. I put the water, the same water that you have in the chiles, you can use it, okay? You can use it, there's no problem because you wanna make it watery, you want to make it watery, but you don't want to make it to be water. So you got to calculate. If you need more water, then you can put more warm water out of, out of the faucet. Uh, what you don't want to do is fill it up more up here because then it's going to spill. So always follow what it tells you how much you got to put in here. Then you're going to blend it for a minute. A minute. Very good. You're going to put everything there. You're going to put the garlic, the onion, and the chiles. You don't have to put them all if they don't fit. You can do two times and you're gonna make it, you're gonna, you're gonna blend them for one minute, okay? Because you want that stuff to be very, very good blended, okay? Once it's done and you blend it, now be careful because if the chiles are very hot and the water is hot, wait a little bit till it's cool. You can always um, uh, blend them when they're cooler because, you know, to open this is gets very hard. Once you blend them, you have another container. You can use another container like this. You're gonna grab one of this. We call them in, in Spanish, colador. I think you guys, Americans call them uh, zephyr. I, 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 don't, I don't know, but this is what you're gonna use. You're gonna turn this and you're gonna put your chile here and you're gonna swift it and swift it and swift it. And then with a spoon, with a spoon, you're gonna do this, this, to get all your juices out, and that's gonna be your chili. If it's too thick, that means you're gonna need to put more water, okay? If it's too thick, because it needs to be creamier, but it, it doesn't have to be too loose either, like watery. I'll show you what consistency you gotta have. Once you do that, you're gonna have a lot of leftovers here. So whatever the Nutribullet didn't get, you're still gonna have leftovers. So you leave them there. And then if you still have more chiles to blend, you do it all over again. You grab what is here left and you throw it in here again, okay? And you blend it again, a minute, good blending. And then you swift again, you throw it in there and then you, with a spoon, you go like this, like this until you get all that rich juice. And then your chile is done, it's done is ready for you enchiladas. Now, once you get that chile, oh, but you can do it here or you can do it in the blender. It don't matter because really it's gonna be, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna put my secret ingredient in there, okay? And it's this, okay? With the chile I, I gave you, you're gonna probably gonna put about two and a half of this with it. And then you can taste it and see. You will not need salt. This has salt already, okay? It has salt, it has everything. So you can throw it with the blender, you can put it with the blender, or you can throw it once your chile is done. It doesn't matter because all it's doing is giving it flavor. I throw it in here with everything together because I want the flavor to blend real good. It's still gonna blend, but it's better if you put it here. Okay, so this is the secret ingredient you're gonna put in there. This is gonna give, be giving it a totally different flavor that nobody knows about it. Very few no know, know, knows about that. Okay. Ah, is it chicken bouillon? Yes, it's chicken bouillon, but it has something else. Okay. And Vicky knows what it is. If not, um, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. It's not such, oh my God, it's a secret. My sons don't want me to say it, but it's it's a secret ingredient that I have. I think every Mexican mom and Hispanic mom has their secret ingredient and stuff that, oh my God, only our family uses this and I don't want them to use it, but that's gonna give it that special flavor, okay? Let me show you what consistency you gotta have. 
I already have some because I made some pozole about three weeks ago. The real pozole, Rachel Ray. So this is how it, pozole should look. And this is how it should look, okay? Not the crap and all the stuff that she put in there. This is all you need for your pozole. You don't need no uh, spices and blah, 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 and everything that she put in there. Let me show you the consistency. And I'm going to throw it in here just so you can see it. See the consistency? See it? Hear it? So it's, it's creamy, but it's not watery, okay? And I'm going to show you again. Okay. So that's the consistency that you gotta have, okay? Guess what? Then this chile is ready for your enchiladas, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to make the enchiladas that you, you don't have to have them all greasy, okay? Some people make them very greasy. They put a pan and they put grease on it. They, they put it in here and they throw it in the pan and you got all that grease and if you ever eat enchiladas and they look greasy, that's why. So I'm going to show you how you make the enchiladas, okay? I'm going to use this pan. Okay. And we already blended chile, remember? So I'm in here. I'm going to throw some chile in here and I'm going to warm it up. Okay, I'm gonna warm it up in one of the, one of the, can you see? I think you can see, okay. So see, my chile is warming over here and let me, let me get the camera close. Remember, I don't have a camera, I have to be doing it with my iPad. So I'm sorry if I messed up, but I'm gonna show you as close as I can. Okay, so you can see. So, we don't want to make the enchiladas greasy and we don't want to throw the tortilla in here, okay? But guess what? I don't think I have tortillas. Let me see. Well, that's what you get for making enchiladas when you don't have tortillas. But I have a flour tortilla and I'm just going to do an example. Just imagine that this is a corn tortilla, okay? You're gonna warm up the tortilla a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. And that's how you're gonna warm up your, your corn tortilla as well, okay? Just very little, very little. And if you don't wanna warm them up, that's fine. So I got my chile, it's already boiling, hear it? It's already warm, so I'm gonna put it low. Okay, but I got all my tortillas here. Let's imagine that these are all the corn tortillas, okay? You're gonna grab, let me show you. You're gonna grab a spatula like this, and I'm going to make one just so you guys can see it, but I'm going to show you how. I'm going to put this low. So I'm going to have everything low. I'm going to have my chili in low. I'm going to have this in low. Then I'm gonna, you can grab if you are, are don't want to eat a lot of grease. This is what you can do. You're going to grab your olive oil. You're going to throw it in here. No, I'm not making pozole, Rachel Ray. So you're gonna grab your oil, okay? You're gonna sip this in there like this, right? And you're gonna do it in your tortilla like that, right? See it? And then you're gonna put the next tortilla on top and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna grab the oil and you're gonna do this. By the time you're done with your stack of your tortillas, all of them are gonna have oil, all of them, okay? So, what happens next? You already have your pan going and you already have this one going, 
okay so i'm only gonna make a couple because these are flour and and you really need corn tortillas and i didn't have any corn tortillas and i didn't check it this is a satin um video that I'm, that I'm doing because my friend wanted to know and this is for my friend Vicky so this is you already have this boiling it's already hot your chili your hot sauce you have your pan here so guess what here are the your stack of tortillas you're gonna grab a tortilla you're gonna throw it in the pan okay and you're gonna have I'm only gonna make one you're gonna have one of these right Everybody knows what it is, right? So you're gonna have your plate, whatever plate you wanna have. You're gonna have your plate ready, okay? So your tortilla, you already warmed it. You turn it over, okay? And you already turn it over and it's already soft. See, it's very soft and it's not greasy, okay? And you already have your shredded cheese on one side. If you're gonna make them from cheese, if you're gonna make them from, um, chicken then you're gonna have your shredded chicken okay so your tortilla is ready to go guess what no mess all you have to do is grab it sift it up here see boom there you go there's your enchilada okay i got some meat in that my son made this afternoon or this morning and it's right here i told you guys we love uh good meat and he made some bison meat so i got shredded beef here okay and that's what i'm gonna put here some shredded here okay and then because i don't have any cheese and then i'm gonna fold it okay let me wash my hands so your enchilada is done Okay, I made it with flour tortilla, remember, because I don't have any corn tortillas, but I just wanted my friend to know how to make the hot sauce. That's how you make it. So imagine this is a corn tortilla. If it looks like this, once you make all your enchiladas, you grab a spoon. And then if they look kind of, if you want them more juicier, then you grab your spoon, you grab your chile, and you throw it over the enchilada because remember your chile is already cooked there and it's ready see and not only is a healthy enchilada because you're not putting all that grease on it you just uh you just brushed it okay with olive oil i use coconut oil because it's easier and it's healthier and then you put your shredded cheese on top you put all your toppings that you want and it's ready to go. This is gonna be like a, a like a delicious burrito, enchilada burrito, kind of sort of. And I'm gonna taste it because it looks delicious. And uh, you're gonna have the flavor of your chile. So I hope you guys like this video. Please put your comments in there, Vicky, and your friend, and tell her to subscribe because I'm gonna be putting more uh, recipes in English. You tell me what you want. I'm, I'm still gonna make the pozole because it's on i'm mad at you know who i don't want to say racial ray because she might get mad but you know she destroyed our pozole but i'm gonna make the pozole in english as well so you vicky and your friends can make it so my son made this uh this delicious um meat today so i'm gonna taste this because it looks delicious even though it's in in flour tortilla mm, mm hmm Mm-mm. It has the delicious flavor that we caught in the sauce. Is mm. it's thick enough. And let me get some and uh and it's just delicious and and is the rice spicy. Now you want it more spice? You put, you you just, when you make your chiles, you put some more of this. This is what's gonna give her more spice, the little ones, the serrano ones. If you want it to be that kick spicy, then you use this, okay? I really hope uh, that Vicky and her friend will, uh, likes this, and I hope that it helps you. Please ask me, please ask me, because if you ask me, if you get stuck, then I can help you and tell you, well, do it like this or do it like that. 
I know I didn't do the sauce, but it's exactly like I told you. It's just that I had already had enough sauce. And, and I am going to make enchiladas, but in Spanish. But it's the same thing, same thing. There's no difference. And I'm going to make them with, with the chile that I already have. And then stay tuned because I'm going to make tamales. And tamales are very easy. Because if you have a mixer, a kitchen a mixer, you can make tamales real easy. So I hope you like it, Miss Vicky, and I hope that uh, your friend likes it. Please tell her to subscribe and get her friends to subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos in English as well. And uh, I'm a fast talker. If I go too fast, then put in the comments and, and I, can, I can respond, okay? See you later, and I hope this recipe goes all the way to Kentucky and somebody makes delicious enchiladas, okay? And I can help you. I can actually teach you how to make tortillas, too, and you can make real homemade enchiladas with homemade tortillas, okay? So, bye. Thank you so much, and I hope that you enjoyed this video.